In everything, do to others as you would have them do to you. For this is the law and the prophets. Our scripture this week, as we continue through the Sermon on the Mount, is the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. A scripture about kindness, compassion, and caring. So I invite you to close your eyes and just rest in the golden rule. In everything, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Holy One, you ask us. You ask us if we believe in this faith, if we believe in you, if we practice what we read in the Hebrew scriptures, that we will treat others the way we want to be treated. You ask us to think about others, to think about those who are near us, who live next door to us, who we encounter every day, those who are half a world away, those who are different and foreign, to treat them the way we would want to be treated, to show compassion and kindness and care. So God, as we stop here with you for a moment, as we rest here with you, show us where we can be kind, where we can be compassionate, where we can care. God, we ask you to draw near to those places and people who are feeling alone, who are feeling isolated and empty, who are grieving and in sorrow, who are filled with addictive behaviors, who are struggling with illness. Draw near to them. Draw near to them with your care and kindness and compassion and show us how we can be your love to them, bringing them our kindness, our compassion, and our care. Holy One, it's hard to know where to draw our attention to. Do we need to be with those, those indigenous native people in Canada, but we know it's here in the United States, who are forcibly taken to boarding schools where they were stripped of their culture, and now we learn that there were so many that were killed, so many that disappeared forever and they weren't lost. And that grief, that sorrow at what we have done to another, help us to sit with it. Help your spirit to draw near to those who are aching and hurting and grieving. Holy One, as we look at your world and we see that 
boat with all those chemicals going down outside of Sri Lanka. And we know that poison that is pouring into the ocean, the place where people get so much life. We ask you to be with the people of Sri Lanka and India as they struggle to contain that disaster. Show us how to care, how to be kind, how to be compassionate. And God, we ask you to be with the people where COVID is continuing to spread, where there are outbreaks that are uncontrolled, where people are suffering and there's no vaccine that's coming near them for years. Show us how to care, how to be kind and how to be compassionate and how to urge our governments, the people in our country that have enough wealth to fix this problem, to use their resources to do unto others with kindness and compassion and care. And Holy One, we lift up those people on our hearts today. We lift up our family members, our sons, our daughters, our grandchildren. You know where they are aching and hurting. We ask you to be with them. You also know where they are experiencing joy and wonder and hope. So help us with our immediate family, with that other that is right next to us. Show us how to do unto them as we would have them do unto us. Show us how to be compassion, to be kindness, and to care. Amen.